Hello and welcome to another Math with Miss V video. We are going to factor linear expressions or we're undoing the distributive property. So in this video, we will apply properties of operations as strategies to factor linear expressions with rational coefficients. So in a previous video, we used the distributive property to simplify rational expressions that could not be simplified using the order of operations because one of, of one or more variables. So for example, we would distribute this problem by multiplying both of the terms inside the parentheses by the negative two. So we'd say negative two times three X minus negative two times 12. And we end up with a negative six X. Now we can go ahead and make this a positive or we can still say minus negative 24 and then change it to plus 24 because a minus and a negative make a positive. So six X plus 24. So that is how we use the distributive property. So today we're gonna to look at undoing the distributive property or working backwards to a factored state of being. So let's start by refreshing what the greatest common factor or GCF is. So greatest means the biggest or largest number. Common means it's found in every group. And factor means a number used to multiply the final product. So overall, the greatest common factor is the largest number that is a factor for all the numbers being compared. So let's find the greatest common factor of 25 and 45. So we do that by writing down 25 and listing its factors. I encourage you to start with one and work your way up. So one times 25 is 25. 25 is an odd number. That means none of our even numbers will work. So we'll skip two. We'll think about three. Does three times something equal 25? Well, I know three times eight is 24. That's one less than 25, so three doesn't work. Skip four, go to five. And I know five times five is 25. When you get to a repeat, that means you have found all of your factors and can stop. So let's move to 45. Okay, one times 45. Again, this is an odd number, so none of our even numbers will work. So I'm gonna to go to three. Well, I remember my divisibility rules. Four plus five is nine. I can divide nine by three. So three will go into 45. So three times what? Well, three goes 15 times. Get four, go to five. This ends in five, so we can use five. Five times nine is 45. Skip six, seven. Well, I know seven times seven is 49. So seven won't work. Eight is an even number. Next is nine. We already have nine. So that's all of our factors. Let's list. So this is right now we've listed all the factors. Let's go through and circle the factors that are common. I see one and one. I have five and five. So these are our common factors, they're factors in both lists, but we're looking for the GCF, the greatest common factor. So our GCF, the greatest factor on both lists equals five. Okay, let's look at another example of finding factors. We're gonna factor 24 AB and 36 A. So we're going to list the factors of 24. That's one times 24. This is an even number, so I know two will work. Two times 12, three times eight, four times six. Next is five. I know five times five is 25. That's just too much, so five won't work. After five is six, I've already used six, so that's all of my factors. Now we're going to list for 36. So we have one times 36, 
36 is even, so I'm going to use 2. That's 18. 3 plus 6 is 9, so I know 3 will work. That would give us 12. 4 times 9, and then finally 6 times 6. Okay, so let's go through and circle our common factors. We've listed the factors, now let's circle what's common. I've got a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 6, and a 12. So those are all my common factors, but my greatest common factor is 12. The other thing we have to look at is our A, B, and our A. So what's common? I've got an A in each term. So that would go with the 12. So my total greatest common factor is 12A. Okay, so let's look at some actual examples factoring linear expressions. So the first thing we want to do is to find all of our factors and then find the common and the greatest common. Now, I know two is a prime number. That means it only has two factors. It has one in itself. That's the definition of being prime. So I only need to check these two factors. One is a friendly number. It's a factor for anything. So I just need to see, is two a factor of 12? Two is a factor of 12, 12 is even. So I already know my GCF is two. Two is what goes outside my parentheses. So now I need to think about what goes inside. So my first term is a 12x, and we're going to divide that by 2. This leaves me with a 6x. That's my first term. My other one is 2 divided by 2, and that gives me a 1. So it'll be plus 1. So 12x plus 2 factored is 2 parentheses 6x plus 1 close parentheses. And we can always double check our work by using the distributive property. So we can distribute this 2 to the 6x and to the 1. 2 times 6x is 12x. 2 times 1 is 2. And we got what we started with. Let's look at our next example, 15m and 30. So let's list the factors of 15. I have 1 times 15. It's an odd number, so my even numbers won't work. 3, well, 1 plus 5 is 6, so 3 works. 3 times 5. And the only number between 3 and 5 is 4. 4 doesn't work, so I've listed reached the end. Now we're going to do 30. So 1 times 30. 30 is an even number, so 2 times 15. And I'm going to stop here because I already see 15. 15 was my largest factor for 15. I can't use any number bigger than 15. So 15 is my greatest common factor. So my GCF is 15. So 15 is going to go outside of my parentheses. So I have 15m divided by 15. That leaves us with 1m, or we can just write m. 30 divided by 15. If you're not positive, look back at your list of factors. You've already written that down. It's 2. So m plus 2. And we could double check by distributing and get what we started with. We're going to look at two more examples. Okay, so we have 21 fg minus 7f. Again, I know 7 is a prime number. It's only divisible by 1 and 7. So now I just have to check. Is 21 divisible by 7? And it is 3 
times seven makes a 21. So my GCF is seven. So I'm gonna put that on the outside of my parentheses, but then I want to check my letters. Do I have any letters that are found in both terms? And they both have an F. So I'm gonna put this F outside the parentheses as well. Okay, so 21 F G divided by seven F. Okay, my Fs will go away. So 21 divided by seven gives me three and just the G is remaining. So three G, seven F divided by seven F. The Fs cancel each other out. Seven divided by seven gives me one. This is a subtract, so minus one. We can double check by distributing. Seven times three is 21. F and bring down my G. Seven times negative one is negative seven. Bring down my F and that's what we started with. Okay, last example. So I have 12 and 24. I'm gonna list my factors of 12. 1 times 12, it's even, so 2 times something, which is 6, and 3 times 4. There's nothing between 3 and 4 when I'm counting, so I'm done. Now my factors of 24, 1 times 24, it's even, 2 times something, which is actually 12. Okay, 12 was my largest factor on my first list, so that's where I'm going to stop. So my GCF is 12. I'm going to put 12 on the outside of my parentheses. Now we have to talk about this squared. What does x squared mean? It means x times x, okay? So what do I have common in both? I've got an x in both terms. So we're gonna do 12x times x over 12x. So we see that one x will cancel with the x in the denominator. 12 divided by 12 is one. We have an x left over. So that leaves us with one x, or you can just write x. Then we have 24x over 12x. So the x's will cancel. 24 divided by 12 leaves me with two. Bring down my plus sign. And so my final answer is 12x times x plus two. I can double check by distributing. 12 times one is 12. x times x is x squared. 12 times two is 24. Bring down my x and I have what I started with.